Hey guys, I'm Safik and welcome to the series of OpenCV with C++ for beginners. Uh, so in this video we're getting our hands dirty uh, in building a pro and making a program. So this is what we're going to make. So I'll just show you the program and le then let's get started so to give you an idea about what we are coding. So when I run, so when I run it, it shows me two windows uh, and uh, a window called original image and scaled image. Now this my laptop's uh, 1366 by uh, 768 screen has a 768 screen, but this image is a 1080 uh, 1920 into 1080p uh, 1080 uh, image. So let's downscale it. Uh, uh, we can downscale it by pressing the button D and upscale it back by pressing U again. You can do that all you want, and uh, uh, and it, I'll tell you why it blurs it afterwards. So this is essentially our uh, beginners project. So uh, let's get into it. Last video we created a uh, we created a couple of property sheets uh, so we can program OpenCV. So in this video, let's create a new project uh, and use code and uh, see how that works out. So new project. Uh, go down to Visual C++ and Windows 32 console application. Name your project whatever you want. I'm naming mine OpenCV1. Click on Next. Empty project. Finish. Okay. And now right click on Source file to add uh, a new C++ file to write your code on. Now I have some pre-written uh, code and I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to explain this in a minute now s as soon as I paste it in you can see all the errors errors pop up that's because I haven't uh, imported the property sheets that we created in the last video so if you haven't seen the last video go back and watch that so now let's let's uh, add those property sheets uh, so this code will work so click on view go down to other windows click on property manager now you see a window here a small window um, go on the debug and you don't see the open cv debug uh, property sheet so right click and right click on it and go to add existing property sheet and you have to find where the property sheet is uh, mine's in uh, it, it, it mine was in the last project i created so the last project we created was OpenCV test. So go into the project and click on OpenCV pro test again, and then you see these two um, property sheets. Now, uh, what you should do is copy them and paste them in a place where they are they are accessible and easy to find once you create a new project every uh, every time. So what I did was uh, open your explorer and go to uh, open your previous project and. Uh, and copy these I copied them onto my documents fold, uh, folder here so they'll be easy to grab uh, so just click since we are in debug just click on debug and open that and then you see it here and do the same for release uh, find your previous project open it and uh, open the release thing and now you don't see any errors since we've uh, imported those property sheets now let me go ahead and explain the code so I include IO stream uh, normal not, that's what we normally do so uh, and then include wh what is called a high GUI this is to create windows and windows for uh, showing images and videos and uh, s stuff like that and then import uh, image p processing uh, HPP that uh, header that uh, helps us uh, process images as you can understand uh, and namespace CV and ST, uh, STD and uh, here we create <coughs> uh, three uh, three objects called mats now mats are basically uh, a kind of two dimensional arrays that hold uh, your pixel values uh, so they, uh, we use them to hold uh, images uh, images so and then uh, we set the so we create three source de destination and uh, temporary uh, we you'll see why we use uh, all three 
where we use all three uh, now take source and uh, um, call a function called im read which read uh, which call which reads an uh, reads an image file from uh, the path that you give it here and then you f you can flag give any flag you want uh, so mine was a uh, color but you can also do grayscale load Im wait le let me show you the options there we go uh, load image any color any depth uh, color grayscale you can also do grayscale mines color you can do you can use whatever you want uh, and then check if it if if the data is null or not if I mean if the path is right or not and then if it isn't right uh, print this message out saying that the path the path was wrong and then end the program well if if all goes well uh, create a new this creates a open CV named window creates a new uh, window with the name uh, give, uh, specified here and a flag here now the, the flags now auto size resizes the window based on the size of the image you can see all the options here free ratio full screen just just take a look at and experiment it with yourself uh, experiment it and uh, we create another uh, window called scaled to hold our scaled uh, image and now I am show uh, requires two param pa parameters uh, the the window you want to show your image on and the image since the image uh, I have an Avengers image here okay let me talk about the path uh, now normally uh, when you s when you look at uh, there's a picture on my laptop here called the Avengers when I go to the down to properties I can see details I can see its uh, uh, path here and you can copy that and include the name of your image and the extension uh, uh, now normally uh, uh, you have one black sl backslash that gives you an error in C++ so you have to have two bla backslashes for it to work um, and then yeah uh, I am show shows the image now we we're equating a temporary variable to us uh, to the source variable and the des destination uh, variable to the temp variable and now I am sure shows the destination variable on the scaled window and now we create a continuous loop to check uh, for our key keystrokes so uh, 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 we create an uh, infinite loop and then ch wait for 10 milliseconds wait key wait for 10 milliseconds and checks if you press the key or not if you did and if the key and the next line is if if the key you pressed was an escape key and then break uh, and stops the loop and then ends the program if not it keeps going through uh, and then I if your uh, key is up it does something called uh, pyramid up which essentially upscales your image pyramid up uh, takes three parameters your uh, input array your output array and then the size you want the image to go to uh, now the temp the input and the output array can be the same but just to make it less confusing I rename I put two of them I made it two into two of them now uh, this upscales the image as you can see temp gets the cur this is the current uh, number of columns that the uh, p image has and it doubles that and the number of rows is doubled and uh, if you press D instead uh, it, it, it runs a, a function called pyramid down uh, which takes in the parameters the same thing and except I uh, reduce it uh, by a factor of 2 now after this is done I show the uh, image that I've uh, upscaled or downscaled and then I equate the temp variable to the destination variable 
which I changed, uh, which I uh, which is uh, which I changed, and then loop loop goes on uh, until you exit. So let's uh, uh, let's try to run the program. Hmm. The first time takes a couple of seconds to build, get started. Okay, this is taking a while. Yeah. Um, oops, my bad. It's not. Just j th there's some problem with the extensions. Uh, just name it. I uh, I'll just name mine JPG. Just check with your uh, properties. Yep, and it works. And now I have two images, uh, original and scaled. This show since this is my now my laptop uh, has a, a screen ratio uh, um, has a pe uh, is a s has screen three. 1366 into 768 but this image is a 1920 into 1080 image so let's scale it to fit my laptop well kind of so when I press D it downscales the image and when I press U back again it upscales it by a factor of 2 so you can downscale it all you want and upscale it back again the thing it, bl it blurs the image but uh, that's because when you downscale it 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 takes it, it takes away rows and columns of your of the picture to make it smaller and when you upscale it it has to compensate for those lost pixels so it blurs it so that's uh, that's the program we created yeah just letting you know i just created a pdf with all the api that you uh, that i used in this video uh, so just go ch check it uh, just go check it out and read through it before yeah after the after watching this video it will give you an idea uh, it will give you an idea and make it easy uh, so thank you guys if you like the video share it like it comment if you have any questions uh, and uh, tell me how I can make my videos better thank you